In today's video, we're going to see how to do work orders in Descara MRP. Starting off, you could click on MRP and then go to work orders. Once you click on work orders, you'll be faced with the work order dashboard. On the work order dashboard, you could see the different status, job status, and the work order status, quality control, and the different quantity and costs associated with that work order. You can also see the delivery dates and a couple other metrics that are useful. Let's go ahead and create a new work order. Once you click on add work order, you could select the sales order. So if you have a sales order from within this era books, you could select that, or you could select a material. For this example, let's just select a material, and then you could select the bomb configuration for that material. Once you create the work order, you could see the different costs associated, material, operation, operator, workstation, and the quantity and yield associated with this work order. You could also see work order details, where you could define the start and end dates, delivery date, quantity, and the warehouse where you want to produce this at. We could see the different components involved in this product. For example, here we have Stone Sport and Excalibur, and you could auto allocate this from any warehouse. And once you allocate a material to a work order, the system's going to tell you that this stock will be reserved for this work order. So this won't be available for any other work orders, and so your inventory reporting remains accurate. Once you click on Reserve Stock, the work order is created, and you could view the job cards on the job card screen. If you want to know more about Descara MRP, visit descara.com slash MRP.